I've never actually taught anyone before. That's just so me. Well, Friday is the day that we always come to the school. Uh, we the tribe members along and it gives the uh, school teachers the chance to just catch up on all of the admin work. Um, so it's, uh, it's quite a valuable time for them. It's an amazing time for, for us as well. Um, and especially the tribe guys. You know, I've been here quite a few times now, but it's, I love watching the, the reactions of people when they come here because it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and experience. Okay. I'm going to teach you today how to read and write some Chinese. I decided to uh, teach them a bit of Mandarin, which I learned at university. And I thought that being out in Fiji, they probably wouldn't have any experience of the Chinese culture or, or limited experience. And I thought, if I've got a bit of knowledge in that area, then I might as well impart that knowledge with them. Bula is Fijian for hello, welcome. And this is Chinese, Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Yep, so if you ever go to China, you see a Chinese person, you can go, Ni Hao. <laughs> All right, now that we've got the numbers up, this is just one, very plain and simple, one line across. Okay, do you want to guess what two is? Two lines across, easy peasy. Guess what three is? Three lines across, you're right. How do you write four? Four, four. four lines? No, you're wrong. <laughs> Number four. Chi. Ba. Jiu. Shu. Shu. I didn't realize we'd be coming to schools actually. I think something uh, I'm glad that's kind of included. Eh? I didn't know I was going to be thrown into something this big and actually um, taking part in the locals' lives so much. Yeah. All the things that you